Take these pearls, which are your sister's. I found them at the Lake of Offerings. Thank you, Bradwin. I am happy to have them with me once again. You will find Merlin's stone at the place of the shimmering colors. I thank you for responding to my call, Merlin. Your assistance is precious to us. The Atrabats will always be worthy of my concern, Bradwen. The king is dead. I have been banished from the land of the Atrabats. Gwen left before my return, but she left me a sign leading me to you. I felt the death of your father, Bradwen. Gwen was able to send me a message. She has gone to Magovinium with the convoy of your uncle, Novilius. Thanks be to you, Merlin. I must find her without delay. Hurry, Bradwen. A great destiny awaits you, but sorrow as well. I cannot tell you more. Bradwen rode towards the great city of Magovinium. Everything had happened so quickly that he was still in confusion over the upheaval in his life. The death of his father, his banishment by Morganor, the disappearance of his family. For the time being, he had only one goal, to find his wife and his child. This is so unfair. After all, Bradwin did all he could to save his father. And these warriors, the Pitts, what were they doing with Morganor? They're surely not from the same region, are they? In fact, they come from the lands of the north. But Morganor traveled often. Perhaps he rallied them during one of his journeys. And Magovinium. Is that not where his uncle Novellius lives? Indeed. Novellius was bishop of that city. Magovinium was once a magnificent Roman city. But since the departure of the legions, it had been sacked by the barbarians. The only place of refuge for its people was the amphitheater. The inhabitants fortified it and lived behind its walls at that time. I'm anxious to hear the rest. I hope Bradwin finds his family. It is with this hope that he broached the walls of Magovinium. Crows were circling overhead, and the horses' steps echoed on the large flagstones that paved the streets of the city. Bradwen rode towards the city of Magovinium. Everything had happened so quickly that he was still in confusion over the upheaval in his life. The death of his father, the banishment by Morganor, the disappearance of his family. For the time being, he had but one goal, to find his wife and child. God, I am Bradwin, nephew of Novellius. I must enter. Open the gates. I have instructions. I must not let pass any strangers. Only the inhabitants of Magovinia may enter. How can I prove my honesty to you? I am not an enemy. I would have to see on you a mark of our cult. I do not see one. Claudius, how happy I am to find you here. Bradwin, thank God you're safe. I have been banished by my brother. 
I have had to leave our lands. I am hoping my uncle will help me. I too preferred to leave when I saw the picked barbarians arrive. But here also, things are going badly. Your uncle has disappeared. What is going on in our kingdom? I do not know, Bradwen. Perhaps the Lord is punishing us for our sins. Above all, do not leave without warning me. But I saw my uncle less than a week ago. What has happened? He returned to Magovenium, and then disappeared. Perhaps he's gone into hiding. Novellius gone into hiding? But for what reason? He's being accused of sorcery. A hermit rallies the people against him. That is why only the bearers of the cross may enter the amphitheater. The bearers of the cross? What cross? The cross of the heresy of Pelagius is our symbol as believers. I lost mine during an attack by the Saxons and may not enter. I absolutely have to rejoin my wife. I must find a cross. Only the monks could give you one, but the monastery is closed. Perhaps you could find Brother Cornelius the herbalist in the outskirts of town. I know that my wife Gwen has come here to hide. Do you know where to find her? She is certainly still in the amphitheater. I arrived with the same convoy. She wanted to leave right away for Arden, but before that she was going to come to me for some salt. Cornelius, I have finally found you. It is I, Bradwin. I recognize the sound of your footsteps, Bradwin. Why are you looking for me? I need your help. You are the only one to whom I can turn. You should turn to God. Do you know where I could find my uncle? His disappearance is worrying me. It worries me as well, Bradwin. The people of Magovinium have, have gone mad and believe the hermit who accuses him. I must rejoin my family in the amphitheater, but I must wear the cross to enter. Take mine. I will be your guarantor. I know that you revere the ancient gods, but you are a good man. How can I prove my honesty to you? I am not an enemy. I cannot, my lord. I have my orders. You see this cross? The emblem of the heresy of Pelagius. This is truly a symbol of the cult. Indeed. Only believers may carry this sacred mark. You may pass.
I am Bradwin of the Castle of the Red Dragon. Who are you to subdue an entire city? Silence, pagan! Empire son of old world idolatry! Scion of the instrument of the devil! You are demented and your followers are even more so for listening to you. <laughs> what has become of my uncle? Why do you accuse him? He is a righteous man. I am Bradwin, nephew of the Bishop Novellius. I must enter the monastery. No one may enter or leave the monastery, Lord. I come from the castle of the Red Dragon. What is going on in this city? The only real God speaks through the mouth of the holy man. Listen and you will understand. What foolishness is this? Who is that man on the pillar? It is the holy man. He comes to save us from the devil and our sins. Your God the Savior will drive you all crazy. Do not blaspheme, or his anger will smite you. I am searching for Novellius. Does anyone know where to find him? Novellius is blasphemous. The holy man has unmasked him, and his disappearance proves his guilt. Where does that door over there lead? It does not open. It is the door of the devil. It has been shut for a long time. No one dares go beyond it.